are some hints. Um, how about you put some inflection points on your Hey guys, Hofbauer here, just trying to show how easy it is to use a Jamboard in a Google Meet. Um, if you just, if you don't have one prepared, you can just go to the little waffle here and look for the J, funny looking J here for Jamboard. And then down in the right hand corner, there's a plus and you can create a new one. And you can have your students jump on and you can write. There's a pen here, and they can, if you put it out as edit, they can write on here too, and they love to scribble on there with you. There's a sticky note. You can say, you know, anything you want. You can pick a color. You can, um, one of my favorite things to do, and it's so quick and fast. If I have a student who has a question about, for example, a quadratic function, whatever you need for your class you go down to this add image do google you can do something that you already have saved but i could just put in quadratic function and do a google image search click on any one of these if my mouse was working there we go and now it pops right in here and we can talk about it. If we want to talk about the domain and range or the max and min or concavity or whatever we were gonna talk about for math class, we could just, I could ask them the value of the function at a certain point and they could estimate it using this. So it's super easy to pop images in here and then they can also scribble on them. You can also do a text box. Um, if I go back here to Jamboard, you can also see that you can um, set them up and save them. So I did one, <clears throat> well, that wasn't what I meant to do. You can set them up ahead of time and save them. So here's one I used for a class last week and I set it up in edit mode so the kids could contribute. And we went through a bunch of things in class and then I started asking them to contribute and I will show you how that meant went in a short video.